I'm going to use uh, the simulation in OWL 12.3 to show you some examples of cis-trans alkenes. Here we start off, with, start off with a very simple alkene. It's called ethene. Two carbons with a double bond. Now pay attention to this area here on the screen. You'll see as I add functional groups, or I should say as I add carbons to uh, these single bonds on the ends, you'll see the name change. Now notice this is propene and there is no cis-trans isomers here. Now this is one butene, no cis-trans isomer. Now, I add another carbon to make it a pentene. Now there is a cis-trans isomer here. Now I can make the cis to pentene isomer if I remove the methyl group here and put it up on the top. And I could add another carbon down at the bottom. And notice now there are no cis-trans possibilities. Because these two ends of the chain are identical. So I'll remove this and try something new. There's a cis-2-hexene. Add another carbon, we'll have a cis-3-heptene. And I'll add a carbon up here. Notice it's still cis-3-heptene, but now we have a methyl group on number three. So things get a little complicated. But keep your wits about where the longest chain is and where that double bond is located and the fact that we can get a cis-trans isomer out of this because the longest chain is here and both pieces of the longest chain are on the same side of that carbon-carbon double bond. Now I'll see if I could switch these and get a trans isomer. Oh, they won't let me do it on this side. Oh well. Okay, here we go, trans 4 methyl heptene. Let's see if I can get the methyl up here and take that out. There we go. So now we have the trans of the 3 heptene. I encourage you to play around with this tool. It's kind of fun.